Hey guys, it's Michael Strand Fitness. This is the 830 Norwalk right behind me, but let's go outside. Because it's a little too loud over there. All right, so this video is going to be very short because I got an email a couple days ago from a girl. She says, hey, I'm on this new diet and this new diet is causing me to binge eat. Um, so I just want to give the answer on binge eating, why you are binge eating if you are binge eating. However, I want to give you a fair warning. If you are easily offended, if you have a big sense of entitlement where you feel like you should get something for nothing and you are always on your toes getting offended by people, then please do not watch this video. And I know that's going only going to make you watch this video, want to watch this video even more, but I'm going to give you five seconds to just click away because I just don't want you to say I didn't tell you so. Is that how you say it? Don't say I didn't tell you so. So five, four, bold, cold, hard truth coming up in three, two, one. All right, so the cold, honest truth on why you are binge eating is because, if you are binge eating, it's because you lack discipline. That's it. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because nowadays in societies, America is getting softer and softer and softer. More and more people are getting entitlement. And nowadays, more and more people are saying, just be you. You got guys that are too scared to walk up to girls. And then girls are telling them, just be yourself and it'll be fine. You got people that are too scared to ask for a raise, too scared to jump into something that they're uncomfortable with, so they just stay comfortable. The thing is, being yourself oftentimes is not enough. If you are a car with a broken taillight and your left front tire is flat, like my Prius almost, then being yourself is not enough. Fix your tire, fix your taillight, and then be your best self instead. Being yourself often is not enough. You gotta be your best self. So, with that said, the number one plague that is uh, plaguing a lot of us is entitlement. People expecting nothing for something, or something for nothing. People expecting something for nothing. The problem is, is that you are being enabled to feel entitled. If you watch commercials on weight loss commercials, waist trainers, diet pills, any type of diets, what do they always say? If you pay close attention, they'll tell you, it's not your fault. The food companies lie to you. Um, those workouts don't work. Try this instead. You've been doing it wrong all along, but if you try our method, it's fine. Take responsibility. That's the only way that you will get ahead in life. And that's why I said, uh, click away if you're easily offended. So, if you're binge eating, then it is your lack of discipline. However, with that said, if you binge eat because you have emotional problems, you have emotional trauma, maybe you just went through something that you had no opportunity to say no to, because that's the definition of trauma. Going through something that you had no opportunity to say no to, like cancer or something like that, like an accident, then I understand that you're going through emotions, but binge eating is not the solution. Because like Rocky himself said, nothing will hit you as, large, as hard as life will, but what matters most is whether you lay on the ground or stand back up, and that's what you need to do, and that's a cool, honest truth. So. Um, the reason I wanted to make this video is because, you know, when, when somebody asked me about binge eating, I thought, what, what nutrition thing can I say about binge eating? It's really all discipline. That's what it is. Control yourself. Because without discipline, honestly, we are nothing but animals. Without the discipline to go to work on time, you don't have a career. Without the discipline to pick up your kids from school, your kids are gonna be stuck at school all the time. So that discipline that you use in your career, in going in bed on time and brushing your teeth, use that in your food. You have it, you have what it takes. Because I also want you to know that this stuff that I'm saying often is very harsh, but I'd rather give you the cool, honest truth because if I'm gone tomorrow, at least I'll, I will go knowing that I gave you guys the truth and I wasn't sugarcoating anything. Because m m like my mom was always overweight. She never really lost weight. My mom tried liquid diets. Uh, my mom tried it all. And she knew it was gonna fail because you know what works. You know you need discipline. Deep down inside, you know it. Deep down inside, you know that you're binge eating because you can't control yourself. Deep down inside, you know it. Stop looking for short-term answers. Stop looking for shortcuts. It's not gonna get you anywhere. Discipline is so important. And that's why a lot of people that go to the military often come out ahead because they get drilled into that discipline. And nowadays, the military is not that required anymore, right? So bring that discipline upon yourself. 
and be a good role model. So I know where you're coming from. I used to be chubby myself when I was in Europe. My mom was overweight, I know it's hard, but cool on is truth, you need that discipline in your life. So that's it, no funny stuff today. Um, but, and of course, there's gonna be people that don't agree with what I say. I just want you to get the most out of life. And when somebody says, be yourself, just say, no, I wanna be my best self instead. Because your comfort zone is this big and everything you ever wanted is right outside your comfort zone. And in order to go from your comfort zone to what's outside your comfort zone, you gotta do, cross a bridge. And you know what that bridge is called? It's called fear. Every time you leave your comfort zone, you have to do or go through something called fear. Now when you feel fear, that's when you know that's what you gotta do. But when you have a decision where you know, like, ah, oh, this is easy, then that's cool, have fun with it. But if you wanna get ahead in life, you gotta go through fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real, but really, fear is what you need to do. And courage is defined as doing the right thing. So have courage, and I'm gonna end this video before I keep rambling on all the time. Thursday morning, camera lady saying stop it already. Uh, Thursday morning, have an awesome weekend, guys. Ha, ha, ha.